Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how um, one of my creations, the rope bridge. So I invented it and I'm going to be using about 24 yellow, um, about let's say 8 purple, 8 of each um, three colors because I'm making a pattern. And whatever color you want to make your circles, you're going to have to make about, use about 12. So now I'm going to start showing you what to do. So now you're going to take your yellow or whatever color you're using and you're going to line it up like you're making a triple single but only on the side pegs right here and right here. Do it all the way until here. Make sure they don't overlap each other. Make sure and by the way you have to start with the arrow pointing upwards so you go all the way up same with this side make sure it doesn't get twisted pull it all the way down so you do that about at so the last peg so your result should look like this make sure your rubber bands aren't twisted and they go on top of each other. Now, you have to take your hook and pull all the rope bands down. Because we're going to be lining up some other rubber bands. There's going to be a lot, lot of rubber bands on each peg. Okay. Next step, you're going to take one of your colors and we're going to start the pattern. So you're basically going to start from your right, go left. It's going to look some like arrows. Now, now you take your next color, right, left. Push it all the way down because there's going to be other rubber bands. Now you take your next color of your pattern right here, pull it all the way down right there. and this one right here. Now you just continue the pattern and make sure they go right, left, right, left. Make sure the left one is on top of the right one. Okay, so you're gonna continue doing this until the end. The result right should look like this. If it doesn't look like this, go back and do it again. So make sure your rubber bands are slanted all the way to the bottom because we're gonna put other rubber bands on top of that. One is twisted, so you have to untwist it. Turn it around, do the same thing, pull it all the way down. Okay. So the next step of putting rubber bands, you have to take your circle color, which you want the actual bridge to be, and line it up all the way until this last peg. Make sure it goes on the top of each of the middle, or else it'll just overlap and it's going to become twisted. So just do this all the way until the end, right over here. Your result should look like this. And the side should be like this. Make sure nothing um, twists and turns. If you notice something is wrong, go back and redo it. Okay. So you are finally done putting on the bands. Next steps, we're going to be looping the bands. We're going to have to turn it this way so the arrow could be pointing straight down right at me or right at you so you're going to be doing this going to stretch away from the white band pick up the very first rubber band that you see and put it on its original position next you go through the white band 
take the next rubber band that you see, which is the last rubber band there. Now you go along to the next peg. You take, you pull away the white one. Take the very first rubber band that you see. Pull it out carefully so the white doesn't come out. Put it to its original position. Pull back again. Take the one that is left and put it right over here. Make sure it's not twisted. Now you go along to the next one. I'm going to show you the very last time. Stretch back. Take the very first one, not the last one, which should be on your right. Now you take, pull back again and take the very last one. Keep doing this until you have completed all the arrows. The result should look like this. It should look like a bunch of triangles with tiny circles on its sides. You are not done yet. As you can see, you have to pull them down because we're going to have to do an extra step. Okay, so if you have done the triple single pattern before, then you know how to do this, or even the single pattern. Basically, you have to start with the arrow pointing at you. You have to pull these back, and you see the yellow one. Take the yellow one, reach out, and put it on its forward one. Reach out. 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 Put it on its forward one. Same thing you do to the other side until the end. Basically, you just go over till the very end. Your results should look like this. I'm happy, I'm happy to say this is the last thing. We are finally done. But don't go ahead and take everything off because there's one little tiny bit of step. And make sure they don't overlap like this one, right over here. Fix it all before you take it out. Go back if you want, reduce some steps. Uh, make sure they're not twisted. That's something bad if they're twisted. Okay, so this is we're gonna, what we're going to do. Twist it, and you see all of these are collected over here. A lot of here, and a lot of here. This gets a little tricky, so don't mess up. You take this, pull it back, and try taking it with your finger. Take all of this, pull it out, and pull it on this little middle peg. Perfect. Now, do the same to this peg. Take this, pull it all the way out. Okay, put two fingers in here. Take it. Now you see a lot of things here. It's okay if it gets messed up because later you can redo it. Oops. And now for the last step. Pull back from all of these random scrambled big thing. Take one of these. Pull it out. There we go. You have to do this really fast. Pull it to the thickest part of your hook. Now you can finally undo it. Slow down. 
because it might rip by accident. So we'll do this really carefully and cautiously. As you can see, they're all piled up over here. So we're gonna have to spread them carefully. Spread. We'll put it here. Take some time to spread it. Because you don't want it to go kind of crazy. And as you can see, this is why I called it rope bridge. This part is like a bridge, this is like rope. Now it could go double sided. I like this side more. Anyways, it doesn't really matter, but then take this and we're going to be doing extensions. Now, you could start from here, go all the way up. Make sure this is going straight. If you have a small hand like mine, you should use about, let's say, four because you won't need that much. Otherwise, it's going to be humongous and it's, it's not going to go well. But if you have a big can, you should use at least six because this is a pretty thick bracelet. Now, if all of you already know how to make singles, so this is all I'm going to use. And you put this right here that you collected from your other... Put it right over here. And you start looping. Now I suggest you pull this back so it will be easier to put the clip on it. Take a random clip, C clip, S clip, it doesn't matter. And clip it towards us. Take it out. Whoops. Sometimes it gets a little tangled. Anyways. Just using the other side, it's a little more organized. And your bracelet should look like this. Okay, so congratulations. Thanks for watching. Bye.